This was just going to be a Spotify review. But due to circumstance, I will tell you soon, it turned into a challenge for the entire platform. I am an avid Apple Music user, and as for one reason, a loving mother who pays for it. And it's covered all of my needs, kinda. Basically, it's really hard to find new music on Apple Music because its discoverability sucks. So when I complained to people that I've been listening to the same playlist for whatever years and they saw that I was using Apple Music, they'd immediately tell me how much better Spotify was followed by some racial slurs. And that's not hyperbole. The last person who saw I used Apple Music said, and I quote, you know that Spotify is better in like every way, right? So after all this abuse, I'm going to use Spotify exclusively for an entire month to find out once and for all which is better, Apple Music or Spotify. This is still a Spotify review, but what I didn't know was that in exactly a month, I was going to be moving across the country, a 10 hour drive in total. So I didn't know it yet, but now this whole platform is being challenged. Can Spotify give me 10 hours of good new music before this drive? Week one, day one. Spotify really impressed me. I started my journey by making a playlist and once I added Jordan Ward, it looked like this thing just took my 2023 most played and just copied it because several on that list were recommended right away. So much so that I actually had to look up if Spotify somehow used that Apple Music data. This had me very excited because making a long story short, I was sick of my own playlist. On Apple Music, I had to find all new music manually, so my taste grew very slowly. But Spotify knew my taste in a day. Imagine where we'd be in a week. I wouldn't need my old playlist again. Week one. Week one of Spotify was initially really impressive, but started to disappoint very quickly. It found my genre of music immediately, but then seemed to immediately forget it and just recommend the same songs I said I wasn't interested in over and over. What I was using for discovery was Smart Shuffle, and while I will hold off talking about all the features to the end, this is the worst one. By far. I hate it. As for the songs it did get right, most of the time it was something I had already added or something from an album I had already added, which doesn't really help. It also played Fam Jam 4000 to an annoying degree. If I interacted with Smart Shuffle in any way, it would restart my playlist from the beginning, starting with that song. And if you can somehow make me start to hate my favorite song of over a year, that's impressively bad. With 32 songs added and liking 17 of them, I wasn't upset, but I wasn't impressed. So to help the app out a bit, I'm going to add all 300 songs from Apple Music. Let's hope this helps, because if not, we might as well end this after week two. But there is hope for the app, because this week we're adding Made For You playlist. Week two. Week two was a great change of pace. Whether the algorithm was just figuring me out or the 300 songs I added, this week showed me so much good and so much new. The big game changer this week was Discover Weekly, which was just audible gold. It showed me so many more artists while still being very in tune with my music taste. And most of these artists had under a million listeners, so it felt like I was actually helping someone out. The Made For You playlists are also pretty solid. I describe them as a random shuffle with a little bit of discovery in there. I would never use any of the Apple Music's discovery features because they were basically just a shuffle of the top 100 and the most commercial music possible. So things are looking up for Spotify. With 64 new songs added and liking 28 of them, this week was a lot better than the last. And I'd like to clarify, just because a song isn't on the liked list doesn't mean it's bad. It just needed a little something more to join the list. Or it was just, you know, out of my genre. I know for needing 10 hours of content, this seems very casual, and that's because it was. This was for fun at this point, but at the end of this week, I got a call that the apartment was available and the 10 hour drive became real. So as we get into what's real, we're gonna dive into the fake and see how much this AI could help us. Week three, 122. That's how many new songs we got this week. Things got serious. I was listening to mix after mix, playlist after playlist. I was moving and I was not gonna spend this 10 hours in silence. The challenge fell on Spotify, so why don't we speak to the algorithm itself? 
Hey, what's going on? It's really great to be here with you. I'm Xavier. My friends call me X. And from this moment on, I'm going to be your own personal AI DJ on Spotify. Yeah, I'm an AI. But listen, I don't set timers. I don't switch on your lights. I'm all about music. Your music. This guy kind of sucks. Don't get me wrong. It's a very cool concept. But when it came to recommendations, it was pretty hit or miss. But... And this is a big old butt. I think if I had Spotify for a while longer, I would have liked this feature a lot more. It would do a lot of, we're gonna play some music from your high school days, or here's something you were listening to a few months back. I've had this app for two weeks. Eventually it turned into a random shuffle of recently played because it knew if it played something new, I'd turn it off, which I'm cool with. It is honestly really cool to have a completely random shuffle. Three hours, 58 minutes just below four hours of music. If I wanted to get this done, I would have to lock in. Music at every moment possible. It was out there. We just needed to work together to find it. So I listened. My word that I listen in the shower, in the car, in the gym, in the kitchen, anywhere I could, cause I knew this would be worth it. At the end of the day, after all this fighting, I knew we didn't make it. Despite my best efforts, we only got two hours added to the clock. And that is because I just got four hours of good new music. It's hard to explore when I'm happy with what I got. But if you're paying attention, you notice that despite listening to 36 less songs, we got the same amount of like music. The algorithm is working. So with that, I was out of time. I packed up the U-Haul and full playlist or not, I had to go, but there was something that I didn't account for. When I started driving and just listening through my like songs, I found I actually missed my old music. The albums I was sick of, I hadn't heard for an entire month. My like playlist had just become a brand new and grand old mix of my likes. So after all this adventure, is Spotify better than Apple? Yes. The site is so much cleaner, it works with itself so much better. The site is also so much more shareable. The playlist, the profiles, I haven't even mentioned the podcast at all. But you could remove every single feature from Spotify and it would be superior for one reason only, the Discover Weekly. It is just a mix of recommended artists, top three songs basically, and it's just perfect. I've never left that playlist not satisfied. Uh, real quick, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe even though we are uh, very close to 5 million subscribers, but if you could just like watch this video again so I could uh, start making some pennies, or watch this one, this is also about music, but um, do what you want. <laughs> That's crazy. Stupid nigga, you think I care about you?